If you are feeling restless at home, painting is a relatively quick project you can tackle yourself. And now some home centers and paint manufacturers are offering delivery services that include everything you need. Consumer Reports experts are sharing tips and tricks for nailing your next DIY paint project. Martha Koloski explains in today's On Your Side. And then I'm pulling down the paint. Painting can transform a space, which makes it a particularly enticing project for the millions of people socially distancing inside their homes. If you hadn't tackled it on your own before, Consumer Reports has some painting pointers. First, start with a good paint and a good brush. CR recommends Bare Premium Plus from Home Depot, a Best Buy for $31 a gallon. For latex paint, use a brush with nylon bristles. Bristles should be nice and stiff uh, to make sure that they spread the paint evenly and then you want to be able to tug at it to make sure the bristles don't fall off because you don't want to find any of those bristles in your paint. Small angled sash brushes from one to two and a half inches are best for trim. For cutting in around doorways and ceilings, use a two and a half inch angled sash brush. The angle allows you to make a sharp line and access corners. And for painting wide flat surfaces like walls or siding, a three to four inch flat brush will do the best job. For walls and ceilings, use a roller. For most interior painting projects, we recommend using a short nap roller about a quarter of an inch deep. And a result in less splatter while still providing you with a smooth, thick coat. You can also tackle outdoor projects like fences and front doors. Depending on where you shop, CR recommends this Bear Premium Plus Ultra Exterior from Home Depot or Clark & Kensington Exterior from Ace. For News 8 Now, I'm Martha Koloski on your side. CR says it's always good, a good idea to keep leftover paint for future touch-ups. And if you're using the original container, close the lid tightly by tapping on it with a hammer. Write the date you used it and the paint you used, or the room you used, I should say, f with permanent marker. And lastly, when you're storing the paint, be sure to avoid sunlight or a heat source.